So for this breakdown, we're going to look at Jeremy Grant and kind of where he struggles or lacks some ability and skill to get teammates open shots to really create for teammates at a very high level. Now, I want to start off with a positive and because obviously he is getting assists, he has thrown some good passes and here we're going to see one that is really impressive off the bounce, recognizes the open Kelly Olenek, even uses some eye manipulation trying to hold the defender and then makes a nice pass for a layup to Olenek. So it's not like it's not there whatsoever. I'm not saying he never does it. I'm just saying I think that there's another level that he's lacking that would be really nice if he had. So here in the post and the first thing we're going to look at is just not recognizing some of the reads. Now I'll give him a pass on this one. I think Killian Hayes comes open right here and he could have made this pass. But that's not even the one I'm going to talk about. Right here the ball should be in Sadiq Bey's hands. So he's getting all this attention in the mid post which is great but right now this pass should be on a line to Sadiq Bey and he never sees it. So not only is he he's not late with it, he never sees it whatsoever. Eventually gets back to Sadiq Bey but not with the pass that should have been there. We're going to see it again here. So kind of the same situation. Again, we're going to see a cut from Killian Hayes and this should be a one-handed pass. So that's why I showed that first clip off the dribble one-hand pass. Like it's there. That was even with his left hand. But here with his right hand, he isn't able to make the pass to Killian Hayes. So again, let's say maybe he shouldn't make that read. I think the pass should be here to the weak side again. And if he uses some eye manipulation, he can move the defender to open up Sadiq or Cade Cunningham even more. But not only does he go not go there, he ends up going to Kelly Olynyk, which I don't think is the right read whatsoever. Now we're going to look at the timing of his passes. So here in transition, he's going. He's forced the defender to uh, commit to him. This pass should be out of his hands right now to Cade Cunningham. Whether it's a bounce, over the top, true lob pass, whatever it is, this pass should be in Cade Cunningham's hands right now, right inside the three-point line. But watch how long it takes. Cade doesn't get the ball until he's all the way under the basket, and the timing is just off for that. Now, Cade ends up scoring it, so Jeremy Grant gets for an assist for that, and you may say that's all that matters, but in my opinion, it could have been better. Here again, right now, this pass should be out of his hands, in my opinion, to Isaiah Stewart. He should reckon, like, he's drawing the attention. Now you have to get the pass out of it to Isaiah Stewart. If it's not Isaiah Stewart, well, now it should be to Frank Jackson on this baseline hammer pass, and you'll see how much longer it takes for Jeremy Grant to eventually get it there. By now, the defender has recognized it as well, and he's running to the corner, and the pass has not left Jeremy Grant's hands, and Frank Jackson still gets an open look, I guess, but not as wide open as what it could have been if Grant would have made the read earlier. Again, on this one, he makes the right read, but it's late. So right now, the defense has committed. The pass should be out of his hand. So this is, again, off the dribble, that one-handed pass over the top to Isaiah Stewart, and it's going to be a layup. But watch what happens. Grant takes a whole extra second because he needs to put both hands on the ball to get the pass. And by doing that, maybe it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it allows the defender to get back in position to get a hand on the pass. So you can just see he's not able to get those passes where they need to go when they need to go there. And then now I'm talking about the being on target with his passes. Again, I think this one's a little late, but at the end of the day, he's drawn the defenders. So now watch where the pass goes. It's all the way up here to Corey Joseph. And this is the NBA with good athletes, good length. And this is a major difference between a guy getting a shot and not. Because the pass is up here, it takes Corey Joseph a little while longer to get ready to shoot. And now the closeout is able to get there and it takes away a shot opportunity. Going to see it again here. I love this aggressiveness driving it, but watch where this pass is at to Killian Hayes. Up above his head and now it's going to allow the defense to recover and get there and Killian Hayes is not able to get a shot off and we have to go to a one more pass. And then one final look. This is a nice little action I like in secondary transition and because the pass is not on time, not accurate, it gets deflected. So what should be a layup? Cade Cunningham's going to get a layup here or he'll make the one more to Killian Hayes for the corner three. But Jeremy Grant uses no eye manipulation no ball manipulation. Siakam's hands stay in the passing lane and it ends up a turnover going the other way. So instead of Cade getting a layup, the Raptors get a layup on the other end. That's just highlighting some of the areas where Kate, Jeremy Grant's struggling. Even though he's creating opportunities, he's not creating them for his teammates to get those finishes.